right onto this next box. This is a Dooney and Burke tote bag, canvas and brown leather. And I love this bag, it's pretty big. This is a bag that I've not listed. And I know I paid, I think I paid like $20 for this. So I need to get this listed and flip it. But this is a really cool Dooney and Burke bag. I love selling Dooney and Burke. So I just gotta get this listed and get it out into the world so someone can have it. Okay, this is a pair of BDG jeans again. This is the Ruched Dip V Flare jeans in a size 31. And I actually think these still have a chance of selling. They are a pretty wide um, bell bottom kind of a leg. They're unique with some ruching right here. No pockets in the back. I, I don't know. These just, I feel like these will eventually sell. So I'm going to hold on to these a little bit longer. And the size 31 is another reason I really wanted to grab them. So if they don't sell in the nearish future, then I will take it from there and probably end up consigning. But I think those could still sell. Next is this pair of Rag and Bone jeans. And they are a Capri length, or it says Capri. This isn't really a Capri length, but it's probably a cropped leg, slightly shorter, kind of ankle jeans, some a little bit of ripped knees and distressing. These I am going to just donate. It's time. I know I've had these for actually quite a long time. Next is this pair of figs, scrubs. These are pretty cool. Um, I know this is a good brand of scrubs and I have not listed these. So I'm going to photograph, list those, probably sell them for like 20 bucks. That was a bins pickup, I'm pretty positive. This is a Tommy Jeans True Vintage mini skirt for 2002 so this is from april of 2002 y2k gotta love it this is staying in my inventory i do have it listed so i'm just going to now i'm feeling not confident do i have it listed i'm pretty sure i have it listed so i'll have to double check but i'm almost positive it's listed so that needs to just get put away this is a lululemon sports bra that I have photographed. This is like one of, I think three or four photographed items that are just in my drafts on Poshmark. So I just need to get this listed, put it away and let it be sold. Okay, next up is this Erin Crafts Ireland 100% Merino Wool. This isn't like a brand that I have any familiarity with, but I remember thinking this was a really nice wool chunky knit sweater that hasn't sold so i am going to bring this into buffalo exchange and hopefully they will want it take it sell it okay this is a protege uh pullover sweater and this is the style that i'm gonna butcher again i have a video where i remember butchering it it's either kuji or kugi is the style of sweaters kind of 90s style so this is that type of style, it's a different brand, but that is why I picked it up. And I even remember somebody at the bins saying, that's a cool sweater. And I was like, I know, it's super cool. So I'm hoping it does end up selling, but right now it is not. So I'm gonna keep this and see if I can sell it. All right, then we've got a leaf pullover balloon sleeve ribbed, or maybe not ribbed. Not, uh, yeah, it looks ribbed. Sweater, <laughs> size extra small. This one I've had listed for a while and it is not selling. So I'm gonna bring this into Buffalo Exchange. Okay, this is a free people item. I do remember um, thrifting this. It's got these really cool kind of metal buttons on it. Very cool style. It hasn't sold yet, but I know I haven't had it listed for too, too long. So I'm gonna hold on to that, relist it. Ooh, this is a very bohemian style. I feel like, what was this brand? American Eagle, maybe? Yes, American Eagle, size extra small. I think this one is going to go to Buffalo Exchange. It's an older American Eagle tag, and it just has not been selling. Next is this airy, terry cotton, kind of a balloon sleeve pullover um, crew neck. This one's going to, I'm gonna consign this one. Next is this Madewell camo sweater, size extra, extra small, with some bell sleeves. I am going to consign this one as well. 
Madewell is a brand I feel like I picked up so many times and sometimes it does do well, but sometimes their items just do not move. And it being an extra, extra small doesn't help that one. Okay, this is an American Eagle color block, striped open cardigan sweater. This one I haven't had listed too, too long, but it's just not the most exciting. And I think I'm just being so picky right now about what I'm actually going to hold on to and flip. So this one is also gonna go to the consignment store or a bicycle trade. Okay, this next one, pretty sure this is soft surroundings if I remember right. Yes, soft surroundings, size 2X. This is a pretty cool blazer jacket, but I do remember grabbing this one and it hasn't sold, but I do think it has a good chance of selling and I probably have it priced a little too high. So I need to just go back in, relist that, lower the price. This is an Eileen Fisher wool open cardigan sweater, size medium. I am going to hold on to this one and try to sell it. Eileen Fisher sometimes does better than other times. This is the newer tag though, so I think this could be a good flip. This is an American Eagle cropped little Henley sweater, some horizontal stripes. This one is going to the consignment. Got a Madewell extra extra small open cardigan sweater in a beautiful blush pink, but extra extra small Madewell is not going to be sticking around. That is going to Buffalo Exchange. Oh, here's another one of those sweaters that I was talking about earlier. Protégé is the brand and C-O-O-G-I is the style that it kind of emulates. So that's the reason I grabbed it. I am not um, donating, not consigning. This I will sell. And if I don't sell it, I'm probably just going to keep it because it's really cool. I love those style of sweaters. Okay, this is a hoodie. Let's see. Oh, this is a champion hoodie, extra large. This is pretty cute. It's a um, bigger oversized sweatshirt. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and donate this, but I like this. This is a good um, comfy loungewear kind of a sweatshirt. I don't know why I picked this one up. It's pretty simple. It's not reverse weave. I don't really know, but I did. Here it is. And Someone will really like that, hopefully, once they get it up at Goodwill. Um, okay, this is a pair of Rag & Bone booties. Super cute with a stacked wood heel. I'm going to photograph and list, list these because I know I have not, so these need to... Sorry, that was, like, not gentle. So those need to be photographed and list, which I will do probably tomorrow for all these. Next is this Lou & Gray for Loft. Um, tiny houndstooth print pullover with a mock neck and I do remember getting this thinking it was a good kind of academia um, style I know that was a was or is a pretty popular um, like style core and aesthetic but this is not sold and it's loom gray for loft I don't know it's in really good condi condition it's super soft but I feel like this is one that Buffalo Exchange will take so I'm going to Put that in that pile. Okay, this is a Andrew St. John sweater. 100% acrylic. Let's see. Size medium. Looks like a men's medium. This is one I am going to also bring in to Buffalo Exchange. It's pretty cool, but it just has not been doing it for me. It has not sold. So, moving that out of here. This is a Rebecca Taylor cardigan with some embellishments along the neckline, button front. Can't remember if this is like a higher quality material. Silk cashmere blend. This is a good style, good item, size eight. I'm going to hold on to this one, relist it, make sure it's priced at a good price. This is a Theory blazer with some pinstriped cuffed rolled sleeves. Um, you know what? Let's see. This is one I think I'm going to try to consign, see what happens, go from there. Theory can be a good brand, but sometimes their items don't move very well for me. 
Okay, next up is a Hollister turtleneck. That is pretty simple, but it's cozy, size small. I think I'm going to just donate this one. Next is a Babaton, uh, looks like a mock neck pullover sweater. And Babaton is a brand sold at Aritzia. So I'm gonna hold on to this. It's actually a decent size, size small. A lot of these um, Aritzia brands are like extra, extra small or extra, extra, extra small. Size small, I am going to give it a little bit longer of a chance. And this is a very nice, very nice sweater. Pretty good brand. I'm gonna make sure I have the word Aritzia, the um, store name Aritzia in, I don't know why I just did that. It's an actual store. The store name Aritzia in my title for this one, because if it just says Babaton, it probably has a less um, a lower chance of selling, so I'm gonna go back and check that when I relist it. Okay, this next one is a Levi's sweater. Hmm, I don't normally pick up Levi's tops or sweaters. This one is very cozy and pretty cool. I feel like I remember this not photographing super well for some reason, so my picture just might not have done it justice. It's got a nice scoop neck. I'm gonna try to bring this to Buffalo Exchange so this is a very kind of Portland cool sweater. I like this a lot, but um, this might do better. I think some of these items really do better in store or where someone can see it, try it on, everything like that. Like sometimes the items online just, they aren't, it doesn't do it justice to like photograph and then post them online sometimes. So yeah, if, if they do end up taking that, then that's great because then I kind of still sell it, but it actually sells, you know? <laughs> okay, this is a Madewell texture and thread blouse top. Pretty simple, size medium, kind of a rust color. This one I'm gonna bring in to consign. As you can tell, I am really purging. I feel like I am donating a good amount, consigning a good amount, and then kind of starting a little bit fresh, not totally. I, there's a lot that I still have that I want to sell and believe will sell, but it's just good to kind of, feels good to go through everything. Okay, this is a Saturday Sunday by Anthropology top. It's got a V um, back. I'm trying to think of what this material is called. It's, for some reason I wanna say terry cotton, but I feel like it's a softer material, so I can't quite think of it. Maybe it is terry cotton. It's so small. This one I am going to hold on to. I think it will eventually sell. Saturday Sunday's a pretty good brand that I've had good luck with in the past. This is a Madewell hoodie, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this, keep it. I know I have a good stock photo on my listing, so you can see how it looks. Oh, this one. This one is a Levi's hemp blend um, button front top with kind of a, what is this, plaid print throughout but or pattern but this i sold this exact one before and it sold pretty well but for some reason this one just isn't really doing the same so i think i'm going to consign this one lots of consignment happening so far and a good amount of donating this next one is apc this is another one that I remember somebody at the bins giving to me. It's got a couple little teeny tiny holes right here. And for some reason, I don't know why I feel like this is still has a good chance of selling. So we're gonna see. Okay, we are moving on to the last box. So this is so exciting, frozen right along. So these, I'm just gonna show all as kind of one. These are some reusable bags I found. Urban Outfitters, Theory Urban Outfitters. And then this is a Prada dust bag, or excuse me, a Louis Vuitton dust bag. For some reason, I just have not been motivated to list this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and donate all these. These I've had listed for a while. I don't know why I grabbed them. I don't know why. But these uh, dust bags can do well. So if this is something you don't mind photographing and listing, by all means, they actually do flip. Um, these designer dust bags can flip and be a good sale, but I just do not want to do it. Okay, this is a pair of Tory Burch ballet flats that are in okay condition and they've been listed for a while but I feel like I have them priced a bit too high so I'm going to list them again 
lower the price and then if they don't sell in the near future then they will um, get moved out this is a pair of Sorel boots I do think these are um, they do have a good chance of selling I kind of don't want to store them I think I'm going to go ahead and consign these I've had them listed for a while Sorel is a good brand um, those are just not something I want to store Speaking of things I don't want to store, I don't know, this is exactly that. A big, really cool um, tote bag. I don't know if this would be considered a Boston bag. Um, let me know if you know. But it's a Michael Kors bag. It's got a crossbody strap. It's a really cool bag. And it reminds me of, you know, a very summery, spring, beachy kind of a vibe. But I haven't listed it in a long time and I don't know that I will. I think I'm just going to... Should I consign or should I donate? I feel like I'm just gonna actually donate this guy. Somebody can find this and I think they will love it. I'm gonna double check that I got this at the bins. I'm pretty sure I did. If I paid up for this at all, then I probably should just try to consign it, but I feel like I got this at the bins. So I'm probably just gonna donate it. It's just so big and bulky. Yeah, I'm gonna donate that one. Okay, and then this is a pair of Lucky Brand, I guess, slingback, um, stacked block heel, stacked wooden heel, booties, open toe. These I am going to donate. I have, have had these listed for quite a while. I think it's time to move these out. They're kind of an outdated style. Still cool, but it's not the most popular style. These I thrifted um, at the Goodwill Bins in what is the, was it in connecticut i feel like this was the bins in is there a bins in connecticut i feel like this is from the bins in connecticut that i went to one time and i'm just gonna donate these they have not been selling I've had them for quite a long time it's been like at least a year and a half and that was actually when i met up with shannon shannon sells on youtube here she, i don't think she's posted in a while but she and i met up to go thrifting which is super awesome so that is one of the things I got on that thrift trip, but they just were not selling. Then next up is this pair of Hoka's, which I am seeing everywhere these days. I feel like all of a sudden Hoka's are like on everybody's feet. Let me know if you have seen these out in the world a lot too, but these I have not um, photographed or listed and I'm going to just donate them. Next up is this Glossier, which is a beauty brand. Um, hoodie with this speckled kind of pattern on it. This I have not photographed or listed. It's a size small and I am going to try to sell this online. I'm going to uh, photograph and list it. So see how this goes. I have sold a makeup bag by Glossier but I feel like there's another one of those in here that I haven't listed but I did sell a makeup bag by Glossier before and it did very well. So I'm curious if like apparel by that brand would do okay or if, if it won't so we'll see but this is a free people super bohemian very cute mini dress with some ruffle detailing some embroidery it's kind of got a little bit of a johnny was kind of a vibe but free people's also very bohemian this one i am going to hold on to i do think i have it listed but i'm going to put it in the pile because I can't, the, to photograph because I can't remember for sure if that one is listed. Oh, but you know what? We are getting into some that I know I have not listed. So there's a good chance those are not, that's not listed. Okay, this is a pair of Good American Jeans. Gotta love it. Super excited to find this brand. Don't find it very often. This is a size 30. I have not photographed or listed these jeans. So I am going to add those. To that pile, definitely get those listed. This is a Free People, it's this checkered, uh, I don't even know what, how to describe this. It's kind of an open sleeve or, I mean, similar to a poncho type vibe. This is one I'm gonna bring to um, Buffalo Exchange. It's cool, but I have a feeling this won't photograph very well and it won't do the style justice. So I think I'm just gonna skip a step and go straight to consigning that one. This is a pair of Everlane shorts. 
think these are just kind of like sleep shorts, um, pinstripe shorts. I think I'm actually just going to, I was going to say donate these, but I think I'm going to just keep these because I actually kind of like these little sleep shorts. These are cute. So those are going to stay in the household, but I'm not going to sell them. Okay, this is a an Ariana Grande sweetener tour pullover crew neck. I did in my last video have a sale that was very similar to this. Um, I think it sold for just under $60. So I am hopeful that this can sell somewhere between like 40 and 60 size small. I think the other one was a bigger size. So that might be why this one's taking a little bit longer, but I am going to hold on to that and see if that does flip eventually. Next up we have a Zara chunky knit cropped kind of a boxy fit pullover or excuse me cardigan sweater. This one is not listed. It's a very nice wintry cozy item and Zara chunky knit sweaters have done actually pretty well for me. So I'm going to keep that one, photograph it, list it. This is a pair of Hollister high rise slim straight jeans. Pretty good style distressed throughout. I'm going to bring these into Buffalo Exchange. I feel like they will take these, but it's not kind of exciting enough of an item anymore. I used to pick up more. Um, I was, you know, reselling full time, but now that I am not reselling full time, I'm just so much more selective and I just don't, some things I just don't want to wait on to resell for, you know, 15 bucks. I'd rather kind of just get it moved out and only flip the stuff that I'm more excited about or that is kind of more unique, I guess. Um, so this is a pair of, let's see. This is a pair of American Eagle shorts, the mom shorts. These I'm gonna hold on to. I don't think I've actually listed these, so I'm going to photograph them with these, but those are pretty cool. Then next up, we've got this coach tote bag, another item that I have not photographed and listed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. This should probably be like a $40 to $50 sale right there. This is a Terzo Millennio uh, dress made in Italy. I must have checked comps when I was at the bins when I found this, but I don't quite remember much about this brand or anything like that. I don't remember if I have this listed. I'm pretty sure I do not. So that one is going to go in the photograph and list pile. Got quite a bit to photograph and list, that is for sure. More than I was expecting. Okay, this is a Zara crochet knit, cropped, uh, probably like half sleeve or three quarter sleeve top. It's got kind of a high low hem. The back is definitely shorter than the front. This is a very cute and cool top. I feel like this is going to be a little bit hard to tell how it looks photographed, but I'm gonna try because it's really actually a very cool little crone, crochet knit top. So we'll see on that one. Okay, next is this BB Dakota pair of pants. Got a little bit of a bell bottom at the hem. New with tags, size four. These ones I am going to bring into um, Buffalo Exchange. What is this bag? This must not be listed because I barely remember this. Oh, this is a fossil crossbody. Okay, this is pretty cute. It's a, not the cleanest on the inside. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely really pretty loved, I would say. But I'm going to try to flip this one. Fossil's a good brand. I've had good luck with their bags and things in the past. So this one is going in the photograph and list pile. All right, this is a pair of American Eagle jeans, mom jeans, in size four regular. Pretty cute, pretty good style. I think I'm gonna hold on to these. I can't remember if these are listed actually, so these are probably a photograph and list situation. Another pair of American Eagle jeans, but these ones are an older style. This is the older American Eagle. So I actually don't know what I was thinking when I picked these up. I mean, they're, they look in pretty good condition, but that is one of my criteria with American Eagle jeans is to get the newest iteration and newer styles. So not sure what I was 
uh, why I did that, but that's okay. I'm going to just go ahead and bring these into Buffalo Exchange. All right, we are cruising along. I think we are getting close to the end. This is a pair of Madewell jeans, the Cali Demi boot cut jeans in a size 26 petite. These are really cute little um, boot cut jeans from Madewell. I'm going to hold on to these. Again, I cannot remember if they are listed, so that's gonna go in that pile. We'll see, and go ahead and get those listed. So this is a pair of Levi's Bermuda shorts. They are the Levi's Premium 501s. Let's see if these are actual shorts or if they were. Okay, so these were jeans turned into shorts. I think I'm gonna keep them, actually. I'm gonna photograph and list them. Maybe try again to get the stains out. I'm not really sure. Okay, this is a pair of Lululemon shorts. I can't find the Lulu tag or the thing, but I can just tell, yep, there it is, that they are Lulu. These I am 100% keeping, photographing, and listing. I think the rest of this box, a majority of it is unlisted. I think a couple things are listed, but um, I think a lot of it's unlisted. This is a J. Crew, really soft, super cozy quarter zip pullover mock neck sweater, size small. This is very nice. I can't remember if I have this listed, but I am going to get it listed if it's not yet. Okay, oh, we've got a full zip Patagonia. This looks like a kid size small, beautiful blue color. I do not have this listed, so I'm going to photograph and list. I pretty much have a whole haul right now to photograph the list. This is a lot more than I thought I had to list still, so that's kind of nice, I mean, to just get it all sorted and then it'll actually have a chance of selling if it's listed. If it's just sitting in a box, it's not gonna sell. This is a Free People One cute little um, crop top. It's got this cutout little uh, netty kind of thing at the, the hem. I'm clearly coming up with Super descriptive words for you. I am going to photograph that, list that. Oh, this one I just got listed. I had it photographed months ago and I just listed it. It's this Free People little uh, beachy tote. So I'm going to hopefully sell this. Just listed it like maybe three days ago. So yay, that one's gonna stay here or hopefully get moved out, not stay too long. Okay, let's see. This is a Beyond Yoga pair of leggings. Good brand. Super soft leggings. These ones I do not think are listed either, so I am going to photograph and list those. Okay, then this is a pair of vintage Juicy Couture shorts, little booty shorts with some uh, nice little details along the hem. I guess kind of a, a ruffle along the hem. But these I am definitely going to keep. I'm gonna list these. Um, size medium. And get these listed. Hopefully those will be a pretty quick book once they are listed. I will definitely use some good keywords to describe those, those shorts. Okay, this is a pair of Eileen Fisher pull-on pants. And I think these are kind of awkward to photograph with these pockets. I'm just gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and donate these. I think Fisher pants can do pretty well, but I just don't know how those ones are gonna do. And as you can tell, I'm making ruthless decisions over here. Okay, oh, this is a pair of Lulu um, leggings. Just need to be photographed and listed. They are reversible. They have the double logo going on but these are in very good condition, high waist. So I'm going to get those uh, photographed and listed. Oh, these are going in the donation. I, you know what? I dropped the ball on these, but I'm, I'm over it. This is a pair of Fry cowboy boots, super cool. I remember being really excited when I found these in the bins, even though they do have like a missing, um, missing bottom of the heel. These probably would be a good flip and I wish I could just give these to one of you guys to, to flip yourselves because I think if they're photographed right, if you can like stuff stuff in here and get them to stand up right and 
take some cute photos. These could be a really good flip. I just don't want to store them. I don't want to deal with it. I don't know. And I've had them for so long. I've had them for probably like close to a year and haven't listed them. So I think it's just time to move those out. Maybe I'll try to bring them to Buffalo Exchange and see. And then if they don't take them, then they're going in the donation. This, oh, this one I thrifted to consign originally. And I think I just never brought it in. Um, I knew it was going to be a hard to photograph. I don't have a mannequin or anything to put these kind of items on. So putting this on a hanger, it just like, you just can't really tell. I could model it, but I just, I don't really like to do that. So I think this is also going to go into the donation. It's just an Urban Outfitters tank top. Very cute, but just not, not one that I have sold. So just going to go ahead and donate that one. Quite a few, quite a few losses here today, but that's just the name of the game. And luckily a majority of these are from the bins and I really did not spend that much on them. So, you know, we'll call them lessons and we'll move forward. But this is a, an Urban Outfitters velvet um, with this beaded, beaded detailing top, crop top, so cute. Um, I guess these are half sleeves. I'm going to definitely try to sell this. I'm trying to think if this will photograph very well. Hopefully I can find a stock photo. I know I haven't listed this. So I'm going to try to um, sell that. Okay, we only have two items left. This is so good. Okay, this is an Eileen Fisher pair of pants. These ones actually look like they could photograph better. They're in very good condition. So these I am going to try to sell. I'm going to photograph and list them. And then the last, lastly here, these I know I shared in a thrift haul at one point and I have not listed them. This is a pair of Converse, um, size five and a half, but that's a men's five and a half. So it must be like a size seven or seven and a half in women's. But these are a um, thicker sole, chunky pair of low top Converse. So cute, so, 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 so cute. And I need to get these listed because I know they will be a good sale once they do, um, once I do get them listed, but I just have not. They're in such clean, good condition. So I gotta get these listed and let somebody have those. So they're not just sitting in a box here. If they were my size, I probably would have kept them a long time ago, but they are just a little too big. So that is it for this video. And it feels so good to have all of this sorted and can I can just go from here. So this is awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to the end, and yeah, hopefully this is a an inspiring kind of thing for you to do if you have to go through your inventory because it does take a bit, but it's definitely worth it. So I think it's a good thing to do every so often. I was going to go to the bins probably tomorrow, but now I'm thinking tomorrow I probably need a photograph and list and then I can go to the bins another day. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you in my next video.